everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make vegetarian kimpira. I received a lot of requests for Japanese vegetarian food, so that's why I'm making this tutorial. Kimpira is kind of food that we season with soy sauce, mirin, and sugar, so it's usually very sweet. But I'm not going to use a lot of sugar, but instead I'm going to use ketchup for my tutorial. So it's going to be really tasty, so I hope you like it. And instead of using gobo, which is a root vegetable, Japanese root vegetable, I'm going to use potato, onion, and green pepper so I hope those vegetables are available at your place and it's one of my popular recipes in my on my Japanese blog and I already received 300 people saying it was good so it's pretty convincing so I hope you like it and I hope you try it out the following are the ingredients I hope you like all those vegetables but if you don't like you can use other vegetables Cut the potato into short and thin strips. Cut the carrot into short and thin strips. Cut the green pepper into thin strips. Slice the onion I think some of you already know that this is my favorite frying pan there. I'm going to use Kadoya sesame oil Heat sesame oil in a frying pan Fry onion until fragrant. Add the carrot. And then add the potato. Stir fry for about 2 minutes until browned. When the potato is nicely cooked, add the green pepper. Now add a pinch of sugar and half tablespoon of sake. What I'm doing here is I'm pulling out the sweetness of the vegetables. And then add 2 tablespoons of ketchup. And for the finishing touch, add half tablespoon of soy sauce and stir fry until it blends nicely. You can add all the seasonings at once, but it's better to add one by one to give a nice flavor. And now it's ready to serve! Thanks for watching, I hope you like it!